Welcome to Expert Dog Smart Flows. My name is Eric Pot. Today we'll start a power automate flow from an Expert Dog Smart Flow. In my example, I'll run a smart flow to generate a quote document. It will also start a power automate flow that will update the quote record after the document has been generated. First, create a smart flow to collect your CRM data, generate the document, and store it in SharePoint, send an email, or print it. These are optional. Then add a block to place an HTTP request. That request will start the Power Automate flow. This block will need some configuring. We have to set up a Power Automate connector in SmartFlows, and from Power Automate itself, we'll get the path to that Power Automate flow. Set the method to post and the content type to JSON. In the body, we will post our quote ID in JSON format. Let's copy that and keep it on the clipboard because we will need that later. Let's save the flow for now and we'll come back here later to do the rest of the configuration. Now we'll switch to Power Automate. As you can see in Power Automate we already have an expert doc connector and that connector we'll use later to store our documents. First, let's build a, a new flow. We will be using an HTTP request. In the body of that request, we'll use our JSON. It adds a reminder to include the content type header later. So let's not forget that. Then add a new step. In this new step, I will use uh, Dynamics for now, but feel free to use uh, or to connect with the common data services directly. We will update a record. We can pick up the identifier from our HTTP request coming from SmartFlows. When that request is received, we'll set the status to active. And let's save that for now. That will give our flow a name. And it will also give us the URL that we can use in our smart flow. So let's copy that to our clipboard so we can use that later. We can take that URL to smart flows and there we need to do two things. We need to set up a power automate connector and configure the rest of the smart flow. We'll use that URL in both steps. First, let's create the connector. Type is HTTPS and the base path is our URL, the base URL. Use the second part of the URL later in the path. There was a reminder to set the content type. There's no authentication. 
and the method is posed. That's our connector configured. Now in our flow, we can use that connector to connect with Power Automate. In the pod, we use the second part of the URL. The last part is to make sure that our quote ID gets posted to Power Automate, and we can pick that up from our data set. Now let's save our flow. We can now run that from Dynamics. Would be good to add at least a little bit of output to the flow so that we get a status code and a status message to see if our HTTP request was successful. Let's switch to Dynamics and run our flow. Flow will collect the data, generate the document, and in the end, place the HTTP request. That's our document being generated, and my HTTP request shows success. Any code in the 200 range is usually OK. Now, if we return to the quote and list our quotes, the quote that we started from should be set to active. And that's another successful day in the office. Check out the other videos for the Expert Doc connector in Power Automate and starting an Expert Doc smart flow from Power Automate. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.